So, hello, my name is Keaton Russell, and welcome to Keaton's Outdoor Adventures. Today, I want to have, uh, I have a little story to tell you of some good news in my opinion, but, I'll, you know, some people might not find it very good news, which, you know, it's all right to have your own opinion. I'm okay in that sense. You can do what you want, but I'm, I have the right to have my opinion. So... So in general, uh, if you didn't hear, um, they're planning on changing the regulations of Police Lake. Now, if you seen on my last video, you you know I you notice I said uh, on the video that, that they kind of have like a two-year streak. Now, last year it was a two-year streak, and what the two-year streak kind of means is um so the first year they stock which don't get me wrong paint uh police lake has no native fish there's nowhere there's no way you can actually uh the fish can get in because there's no rivers or no creeks that run into it actually when the snow melts it kind of runs off into the lake and that's how the lake is created and, and so in general a lot of people think, oh, well, you know, want to leave the native fish there. But in that sense, the two-year streak, if you didn't know, it means that, you know, the people, you know, that, you know, that, um, so the fish that, um, that live there, they get stocked. And because, um, for many years, you, you can't, like, for years back, you could fish it, ice fish it, and fish it all year round. But they changed that to a trophy lake. Now, um, because they have no, like, they don't aerate that lake, what happens is the two-year streak kind of happens because one one year they, they're, they're put in the lake, and then the other year they just die. And uh, because you're only allowed, like, in the regulations, you're only allowed to keep one over 50 centimeters, it kind of ruins, it breaks the rule of... Um, of a trophy lake so because trophy lakes are meant for people to catch that trophy to keep and eat in general so because there's no trophies to catch there and it takes so much work to get them the trophies at that limit and then they die now i have a friend who's actually in charge of this kind of area to, to vote for and his name is Joseph Scow. Actually, he's he's one of my followers. If you you'll see on a picture here, but you know, he uh, he's also the the man kind of in the like he has a group. There's a group of people, but he's one of the people in charge of changing that regulation. Now, years ago, there was a regulation saying that you could you know you could like ice fish it, and years ago also. The fish, um, like, they, uh, they, like, when you fish, like, the fish, they, they were pretty much the same size as they are now, but also, years ago, they didn't have winter kill. They never had that happen, and if you don't believe me, you will know, look at Pain Lake and other lakes, you know, trout also kind of need a little bit of oxygen, and Pain Lake only gets oxygen from the mice fishing, which is sometimes the air kind of goes underneath, which kind of creates the oxygen for the trout. It's a it, it's not understandable directly on how it works, but like for everyone, but that's how it works. Also, police like um, their fish are sterile, so you know you you don't want you know like if you if you go fishing there and you're like worried if directly if you know you're gonna kill the babies or anything. The fish are sterile in the sense that they can't spawn because the government, the Alberta government, has put stuff into their uh, into their body to make them sterile, and they can't breed, so they're just stock trout with a little bit of growth that grows like enough to get them big. But you know, example. Um, you know, like, for many years, you know, for many years, like, 
of people aerating it. They they had an aerator originally on it, but they took it off, and it they never they haven't had it for so many years, and every couple of years they die. And in general, for someone you know, they decided they decided that they're going to do a vote on it, which is only fair to change your regulations, but they're going to make the vote only for local people to vote, which that means because last time they had a uh, they had people all the way from Calgary voting for that lake. Now, don't get me wrong. I love Calgary. I love people from Calgary. I love people from everywhere. I, if anywhere you're at, I'm happy. But the thing is, is why they're doing that is because so, so they're actually making like a circle around the area. And like the farthest is like Cardston, you know, in perspective, that's the farthest you can get to vote there. But in general, the reason why they're not doing it in Calgary is because years ago they had they had it done in, like they had that vote and people from Calgary voted it to make it, you know, a trophy lake because most people from Calgary are trophy hunters and they like fishing for trophies. But example, you know, you, you, we don't change the regulation. We don't vote to change the regulations for the Bow River or anything up near Calgary. So why should they vote for our localized lakes? There's no reason. So in general, they kind of, um, like, they've decided that, like, you know, they've decided to only narrow the vote down to local people. Now, I am a local myself. I'm in the area, around that area, and I know quite a bit of people. All the local people want that lake to be like it was. Like, they don't want it to be, like, trophy anymore. I've asked so many people. I've, I've actually, I, most, I know most of the people. My, my grandparents are good friends with a lot of the people around the local areas. And they all want it to change. It's going to happen either this summer or next year, that's the expected dates. But it does not mean you guys can, can't fish it. It will be a great lake to fish, and if you are a trophy hunter, most likely you'll still be able to catch those trophies. But in the other sense, other people are not gonna follow your regulations that you want directly. But in general, if you are a trophy hunter, you can wait and try to catch a bigger one and release the little ones, which is all right to me. But it's going to be optional to everyone what they want. And come to my understanding, it's going to be five fish per limit, which is good. So thanks for watching this video and kind of understanding the way of why it happens is good and you know i'm i'm showing i'm gonna show some pictures there is some beautiful areas to camp down there and there's some beautiful areas to fish fish police lake camp there you know it's it's reserve only for uh for camping so a lot of you people that are far away from here call them up get get you a camping site it's a it's uh you have to get it in between 90 days and yeah so